And now it's time for the last of the videos where we're going to be taking a look at the lands that have made it in to the Pauper Cube. Hello and welcome to Life Begins at 20. My name is Mark and thank you so much for joining me. Now, if you've been following along this budget cube build along series, it's now time to actually get into seeing which cards I've put into the cube. What I will mention to start off with is that I've upped the cube size to 450 cards rather than the 405, but that's just gonna be going through testing and then hopefully during that point in time, I can see which cards are performing, which ones are not, and then slowly whittle it down to 405. But at this moment in time with mass 25 coming out as well during the point of time where I was building this I actually wanted to put in 10 cards from there and a few other bits and pieces as well just to kind of see how the cube was going and then we can look at bringing that size down but for now it's 450 cards and there'll be a link in the description below as well for the cube tutor link to see that cube as a whole list if you want to just copy it feel free to if you want to make your own changes and suggestions again let me know in the comment section below if you see some cards in there you think oh why have you got that in there i can think of a better one great let me know in the comment section as well below because to be perfectly honest i don't know every card in magic i'm not going to say i do uh because that would be mental uh but if you again if there are cards that i've missed that would make a huge improvement over what I've got. Again, let me know in the comments section below. You'll know what all of the art types are as well from previous videos that I've been I've put together. I will link the playlist on the screen now for you. There'll be a card on the screen so you can take a look and see what's going on there so you can know what all the different art types I'm going to be supporting are in this cube. But for now, let's get stuck in and see which cards I've put in. So into our land section now and Pauper doesn't necessarily have the most availability for, you know, dual lands going on. You're definitely going to be struggling here in terms of your com coming from a powered cube, thinking, oh, we're going to have loads of different... Well, I'm afraid you, you don't. You've got some decent enough lands for doing the job, but they're just not going to be as quick. So to start off with, we've got the gain life lands going on here, which, to be perfectly honest, do a decent enough job. They come in play taps, you get one life, and... You know, each of the colours has got one of those, so that works out pretty decently as a way of, you know, going off a turn. You can play a turn one, get yourself an extra bit of life as well, so there is a little bit of a positive going on there. Next up, we've got the Bounce Lands, and these are probably the my, my favourite ones out of all the ones we've got available to us in Pauper Cube. So, they enter the battlefield tapped, fine, you've got to bounce one of your lands back to your hand, but it just means these now tap for eight to two colours at once instead. So, yes, there is a little bit of land removal within the cube, but these ones work out pretty, pretty nicely, and I definitely, if I end up going trying to splash in for a different colour, I always try to prioritise getting some of these lands. The next ones we've got going on is a set of cycle lands. So these are quite nice to pick up as you go through. You've got one for each of the colours here. Uh, so the basic colours that is. Uh, they enter the battlefield tap to get one of the mana of your choice. So your basic mana cost. Or you can cycle it to discarding it a card and drawing a card by paying one of the, the mana types there. So again it just means that. Later on in the game, if you don't need that many uh, land cards, these aren't going to be dead cards in your hand, and you can just use these to get yourself a bit of card draw. Next up, we've got ourselves Ash Barons, and this is one of my favourite cards to come out of that Commander set. I think it was Commander 2016. Um, it was a really, really solid, solid card, and to be perfectly honest, with that being the only printing, the prices got ridiculous, so I'm very glad to see uh, in the most recent set they've actually brought out a load of these, although now it's at the uncommon level, but it's still pauper playable. So you can either have this coming in as a colourless mana, so not a problem if that's what you want, or you've got basic land cycling, so you can pay one mana, discard this card, and search your library for a basic land card, reveal that and put that into your hand. So it just means that you've got yourself a little bit of fixing if needs be to... If you don't actually need this card, you can go through and try and find it. Yeah, you got to pay a little bit for it, but that is not the end of the world. Next up, we've got our version of Fetches in uh, Pauper Cube. Yeah, it, it, well, it, it, they're not the end of the world. They still, they still do the, do the job. Uh, we've got Terramorphic Expanse and Evolving Wilds. You get to sacrifice them. Uh, search your library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Shuffle your library afterwards. So, yeah, it's still, it's still technically a fetch. Next up, we've got Shimmering Grotto. So we've got ourselves... Uh, a cup for taps for a colorless or you can pay one and tap it to add one mana of any color to your mana pool so it's a nice way to get a little bit of fixing if needs be next up we've got desert and this is one of the cards i do like in foil uh this one's good fun because you can tap it for one mana to your mana pool so that that again is cut taps for a colorless it's not a problem or you can then tap it to deal one damage to target attacking creature 
um, which is great because it just means you can ping off tokens or your opponent's going to be seeing this desert and thinking, oh, maybe I can't swing in with some of these things. Or you can just use it to end up finishing off a creature as well. So if you've managed to block well enough, they're thinking, oh, okay, you've only blocked with a bit less power, you, your creature's gone off. Well, actually, you can do the maths and ping the creature and then end up killing it. And the last one we've got, again, is a foil, um, is Cradle of the Accursed. And this is something I actually quite liked. So for... It's a land card, taps for a colourless, but you can pay three, tap and sacrifice it and get a 2-2 two -two zombie creature token. So if you don't need the mana later on in the game of this land, well, you can get yourself a creature token as well. And that may end up adding to your board presence and doing some significant work for you. So there we have all of the land cards that I have in the cube. And like I said, there's ways to be able to splash for multiple colours in there. I've opened up some ver you know, some variety in there to be able to fetch some lands, to be able to have some extra value out of the lands with cycling. The desert, which is quite nice to be able to ping down and actually deal some damage as well for a little bit of removal on top of a land, which is I think is actually quite cool. The body on there as well with creating that zombie is something that I was actually quite interested in. But again, let me know in the comment section below whether there's any lands that I've missed out and is there anything that you know could be changed up here. I'll be very interesting to know. I would just like to take this moment to thank my Patreons of the channel. I can't thank you enough for the help and support that you're giving me. If you'd like to do the same, head over to patreon.com forward slash life begins at 20, and there'll be a link in the description below for that as well, where there are plenty of rewards to choose from. With your support, we can really push to make this channel even better. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. With your support, we can really help this channel to grow. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.